ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, has just announced a revolutionary innovation in the field of artificial intelligence with the launch of UITARS, a graphical user interface agent that promises to radically transform how we interact with computers. This new AI model, whose name was inspired by the robot from the movie Interstellar, has demonstrated superior capabilities compared to established competitors like GPT-4 and Claude, especially in terms of automating complex tasks and interacting with graphical interfaces. Want to understand everything? Then watch the video until the end, and I'll explain it to you. But first, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll stay informed about the latest news on artificial intelligence. UI TARS was developed based on an extensive data set, having been trained with approximately 50 billion tokens and made available in two versions, one with 7 billion parameters and another with 72 billion. The system has demonstrated exceptional performance in more than 10 different benchmarks related to graphical interfaces, setting new standards in areas such as perception, reasoning, and general agent capabilities. The UI TARS interface features an innovative dual structure with two main tabs, one dedicated to displaying the system's thinking process step by step, and a larger one that presents the files, websites, and applications with which the agent is interacting. This configuration allows users to follow in real time both the actions and the reasoning behind each decision made by the system. A particularly notable aspect of UI TARS is its ability to continuously learn through iterative training and reflexive adjustment. The system is designed to learn from its own mistakes and adapt to unforeseen situations with minimal human intervention. This feature significantly differentiates it from other models available on the market, which often require manual adjustments or reprogramming to deal with new scenarios. To achieve its exceptional performance, UITARS was trained with a large-scale data set that included detailed metadata from screen captures, covering element descriptions, types, visual information, bounding boxes, element functions, and text from various websites, applications, and operating systems systems. This comprehensive approach allows the model to provide detailed and accurate descriptions of screen captures, capturing not only individual elements, but also spatial relationships and general layouts. The system implements sophisticated state transition captioning technology, which allows identifying and describing differences between consecutive screen captures and determining if any specific action has occurred, such as a mouse click or keyboard input. Additionally, the system uses a special technique that allows marking and identifying different specific areas in an image as if it were placing virtual labels on different parts of the screen to better recognize and interact with them. A fundamental characteristic of UITARS is its dual memory architecture, incorporating both short-term and long-term memory. This structure allows the system to efficiently manage immediate tasks while maintaining a record of historical interactions to improve future decision-making. The model has been trained to perform both System 1 reasoning, fast, automatic, and intuitive, and System 2 reasoning, slow and deliberate, enabling multi step decision-making. The researchers emphasize the crucial importance of the model's ability to maintain consistent goals and engage in trial and error processes to formulate hypotheses, test, and evaluate possible actions before completing a task. To support this process, two specific types of data were introduced, error correction and post-reflection data. In the case of error correction, mistakes were identified and corrective actions were labeled. For post-reflection, recovery steps were simulated. The model demonstrated exceptional performance in various specific specific benchmarks, with particularly impressive results in Visual Web Bench, where the 72 billion parameter version achieved a score of 82.8%, surpassing GPT-4 at 78.5%, and Claude 3.5 at 78.2%. This metric is especially significant as it evaluates the model's ability to understand web elements, including page quality assurance and optical character recognition. In the WebSRC benchmark, which assesses semantic content understanding and layout in web context, the 7 billion parameter version of UITARS achieved a leading score of 93.6%. In Screen QA Short, focused on understanding complex mobile screen layouts and web structure, the 72 billion parameter version reached 88.6%, outperforming competitors such as Quen, Gemini, Claude 3.5, and GPT-4. The system utilizes an innovative approach to enhance its action capabilities, employing behavioral cloning to imitate human behaviors and task execution. A crucial aspect of this approach is training on multi-step trajectories, allowing the model to learn not only individual actions, but also how to sequence them effectively. The developers created a common action space that standardizes semantically equivalent actions across devices such as click on Windows versus tap on mobile. ByteDance plans to invest approximately $12.3 billion in AI infrastructure by 2025, with $5.5 billion earmarked for chip acquisition in China 
and $6.8 billion reserved for international development using advanced NVIDIA chips. This substantial investment comes amid financial challenges, with the company experiencing losses due to significant reinvestments in AI research and development. A distinctive feature of UITARS is its ability to operate across different platforms, including desktop, mobile, and web environments. The system processes multimodal inputs, including text, images, and interactions to understand visual environments. This versatility is particularly noteworthy when compared to Claude's computer use, which, although effective in web-based tasks, presents significant limitations in mobile scenarios. To create the knowledge base for UITARS, the developers began by teaching the system to recognize basic screen elements, such as buttons and text fields, before moving on to understanding complete screens. It's like teaching a child to read. First, they learn the letters, then the words, and finally, whole sentences. This approach helped reduce errors and allowed the system to be accurate, both in identifying individual elements and in understanding how all these elements work together on a page. To collect all the necessary information, the system used two methods, an automated program that scoured pages and applications on the internet, and real people who manually navigated through different interfaces, thus ensuring that the system learned from a wide variety of real-world usage examples. To enhance its reasoning capabilities, UITARS integrates a thoughts component generated before each action, reflecting the reflective nature of the system to thinking. These thoughts act as a crucial intermediate step guiding the agent to reconsider previous actions and observations before proceeding, ensuring that each decision is made with intentionality and careful consideration. A practical example of UITARS's effectiveness was demonstrated in a video where the system was tasked with finding round-trip flights between Seattle and New York. The model autonomously navigated the Delta Airlines website, filled in the origin and destination fields, selected the relevant dates, and sorted the results by price in ascending order, explaining each step of its thought process before executing the actions. In another demonstrative scenario, UITARS was instructed to install an Autodoc string extension in Visual Studio Code. The system demonstrated a structured thought process, starting with opening the VS Code application, waiting for its complete initialization, accessing the extension view through the sidebar, and finally, executing the installation. Throughout the process, the system demonstrated adaptability, including correcting a small error in the accuracy of the initial click. What makes UITARS special is its ability to understand and use the computer as a human would. It looks at the screen, comprehends what it sees, and uses the mouse and keyboard naturally. This is very different from other similar programs that require specific and predefined instructions by experts to function. UITARS was created to solve a common problem in similar systems. Typically, other programs are trained in separate parts, as if each skill, seeing, thinking, remembering, and acting, were learned in isolation. UITARS, on the other hand, learns everything together, like a human learning to perform a complete task, seeing, thinking, remembering, and acting at the same time. It's like the difference between learning to play play soccer by practicing kicks, runs, and dribbles separately versus learning by playing real matches, where all these skills are used together. The researchers implemented specific reasoning patterns to enhance the system's ability to handle complex situations. These patterns include task decomposition, reflective thinking, and milestone recognition, allowing the system to approach problems in a more structured and efficient manner. The development process of UITARS represents a significant evolution in user interface automation, progressing from basic rule-based systems systems to an advanced and highly automated system that increasingly reflects human behavior and requires minimal intervention to perform its tasks. This evolution was achieved through several crucial steps, each representing an advancement in autonomy, flexibility, and generalization capability. ByteDance innovated by making UITARS an open source project, allowing developers to freely access and leverage its capabilities through GitHub. This decision represents a significantly different approach from that adopted by other companies in the AI space, which often keep their systems proprietary as part of its broader AI strategy. ByteDance also introduced other complementary tools, including Trey, a programming assistant that mirrors features of established platforms like Cursor and Dubo 1.5 Pro, an advanced AI model that demonstrates superior reasoning capabilities to OpenAI's offerings in the AIME benchmark. One of the most remarkable characteristics of UITARS is its ability to maintain consistency in both low-complexity tasks, as demonstrated in screen QA, and high-complexity tasks,
tasks, as evidenced in OS World. The scalability of the system is proven by the fact that both the 7 billion and 72 billion parameter versions outperform previous benchmarks, making it effective at different model scales. The research team from Tsinghua University, working in conjunction with ByteDance, focused especially on developing robust perception capabilities. The system was designed to interpret dynamic user interfaces in real time, understanding not only individual elements, but also their contextual relationships and functionalities within the interface environment. UITAR's standardized action framework represents a significant innovation by allowing consistent action definitions across multiple platforms, including desktop, mobile, and web environments. This standardization facilitates knowledge transfer between different operating systems and interfaces, while maintaining the ability to accommodate platform-specific functionalities when necessary. The researchers emphasize that the future of native agent development lies in the integration of active and continuous learning, where agents autonomously direct their own learning through ongoing interactions with the real world. UITARS represents a significant milestone in the evolution of artificial intelligence, especially in the field of graphical user interface automation. By combining advanced perception, reasoning, and action capabilities into a single integrated system, ByteDance has managed to create an agent that not only competes with, but often surpasses leading existing models like GPT-4 and Claude. The decision to make the system open source, along with the substantial planned investment in AI infrastructure, demonstrates the company's commitment to driving innovation in this field. The system sets new standards in several important benchmarks, while its dual memory architecture and reasoning capabilities provide a solid foundation for future development and enhancement. Instead of programming the system with fixed and predetermined rules, UI UITARS learns through real-world usage examples, like an apprentice who observes and practices. This allows it to be more flexible and capable of adapting to new situations on its own, just as a human learns from experience. How do you imagine UITARS could impact your daily work? What tasks would you like to automate with a system like this? Would you feel comfortable allowing an AI agent to control your computer to perform complex tasks? Share your thoughts and concerns in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll always receive notifications of new videos. See you next time.